Hello my crafting buddies, this is RJ. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today I'm sharing with you my collective Sizzix haul. Um, I did a couple of um, online sites. Um, I will try to post them in the bottom of the description box so that you guys can go and check them out. Um, if you guys are a big Tim Holtz fan right now or anything from Sizzix, um, there's a site called Art, A-R-T, Fire, F-I-R-E dot com. You guys, you need to check them out. Um, they have all the latest dyes that are out from last fall um, and um, last season at a really cheap price. Um, I happened to pick up some good things from there. Um, great service. Um, it takes about five to seven business days for you to get your um, package but if you decide to go um, priority or something else um, it's a little extra but um, I wanted to share with you guys um, some of the dyes that I picked up so first of all you guys have seen some of my pop and cut dyes um, from Karen Berniston um, she's the maker of these awesome dyes here and I hope you guys can see that and what it is, you guys, is that um, it's a base die, and it comes with an insert, and this is what it looks like. And what you do is you pop, you pop in one of the inserts, and um, you line them up together. There's this little tick mark, and you line the tick marks together. And that will make your um, insert fit. And it will cut an A2 size card. And so um, this is the first die. Once you have this one particular die here, this is your base die, um, you can use all your pop, uh, pop and cuts inserts to um, create your card like it did for this one here. Sorry, you guys, for the glare. Like it did this one here. And... Um, this is it, um, the first one. This is called the Pop and Cuts um, Base Insert. Um, and this comes with the um, circular, um, the oval, I'm sorry, the circle with labels um, insert. That's your first die. Um, they also have, they also have a um, Stampin' Up! Dress Form die. Um, I haven't um, gotten that one yet. And they also have this other um, Pop and Cuts um, square card. It makes a 5x5 five five square card. And that's what that looks like right here. And it also has an insert. And what it does is that um, it also has this um, little flourish that you see. Sorry, you guys. That you see right here. This little flourish. Um, is also part of it too, and um, like I said, it makes a twelve by I mean a five by five size. And um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but if you ever buy these dies or any dies that have the little tick marks or um, it has to cut something to um, to um, form something, you need to get these crease pads, and you know. Um, no one told told me about this until I had to learn from trial and error. So um, this is the um, Biggs XL um, crease pad, and I also got the regular one for the um, regular dies um, that Tim Holtz has. I guess his um, I don't know if you want to call these the XL or the Biggs dies too, but um, let me show what I mean. Like for example. This die, you you can use this size die. Um, this is a move into shapers right here. And you know where you have the little tick marks to um, fold and score? Um, if you don't have that, it will cut your paper and you will, it will, um, it will leave that extra space. Let me see if I have one for you to share with you guys while I am um, have this posted. Where's my little basket? There you are. So, for example, you guys, 
Here's one. Here's a pop and cut that I I I um did this right here and see what it does. See what it did? It it when you open it, it has this little form right here and this is the original base um this is the one from the original. And when you don't have that, it cuts it cuts like it will leave this uh this would be a um separated instead of, as opposed to being um attached if that makes any sense. So I picked up those and um, also share with you these. Um, I had did um, a Sizzix, um dot com had a 75% off all their dyes. And when they um, had that sale, I picked up this one. Um, I picked up. This one, and I picked up oh these two. This one right here. This is um Stephanie Bernard's Flip It card, and um I picked up this also. This is um a, um, a big die, and it's the uh, tall coffee tall tall mug. And at, um, let's see, where did I get these from? Um, this was from, um, Scrap Ace had this along with the embossing folder in one of their, um, values of the day. And I got that. Um, oh, this is also part of that, um, die set this is like um an accessory to the um what do you call it the five by five one and I also picked up this one um this is the die and it also has the uh, um actually these are the pieces to the um um Papa Cuss insert that comes along with it so you have this as part of the um, embellishment part, and then the insert is the die, um, the shape of the suitcase itself. Um, I picked this one up today from Michaels. They had a forty percent off of Sizzix stuff. Um, I also picked this one up from Michaels um, with their forty percent off sale, and then I used my twenty percent off um, everything. And these I picked up. Um, earlier, um, these are Barbara Walton's um, dies. I love the packaging that they did, but this is the teacup. Um, this is the crown. I hope you guys can see that. And this is the slippers. And this is the accessories to the slippers. So let me move this real quick. Uh oh. Before I make something fall, you guys. Hold on. Bear with me, please. While I remove these. And I can show you. Hold on, you guys. Sorry about that. I wanted to share with you what the cup looks like um, that I did. Um, as you can see, it's about as big as my hand. I'm sorry, you guys. It's about as big as my hand. And um, it's cute. I hadn't finished it. I was just messing around with it. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the um, product. And here are the shoes. Um, I made these set of pumps right here I hope you guys can see that I made those um, I didn't finish decorating them I would like I said I was just uh, messing around with them and stuff so that's my um 
Sizzix Collective Hall. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I will leave the links to all the sites, to all the dyes that I've gotten. And also, um, if anyone is interested, um, there's a Facebook group that um, um, this is um, for uh, scrapbooking um, supplies. Um, sorry, this is an, this is an enabler video. So if anyone is interested in um, um, being added to this group, um, they have like all sorts of things. Um, it's called making memory crafts. But I will, if you leave me um, a private message, and I will give you the address to them because I'm not for sure if it's a um, a closed group or everyone can go into it. But you leave me a message, and I will uh, get back to you. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, peace, love, and blessings. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.